This question comes from Rosalina from Texas Tech University Nursing down in Texas, and she asks, what the heck does preload and afterload do inside of the heart? So let's start that two minute clock. And as always, this is brought to you by simplenursing.com, the number one student nurse success site, helping over 40,000 nursing students decrease their stress and increase their success. So guys, let's get to it here. So preload and afterload, and a lot of things in the heart can be very confusing. But if you guys just think of the heart like a slingshot, the bottom chambers of the heart, the ventricles, this is where the preload, when we're pulling back the slingshot, and the slingshot, we have a handful of blood that we're pushing either into the body or into the lungs. Now the slingshot, when we're pulling back, this is preload, guys. Now after we let the slingshot go, this is afterload. Basically, the amount of pressure that has to be overcome to enter the next portion of the body, whether it be the lungs or the actual peripherals. So please don't make this overly confusing. Your heart has four chambers. It's pretty much like a bedroom suite. You have two little chambers up top and two big rooms at the bottom. This is what's called your ventricles. Now the ventricles are the most important part of the heart because they're responsible for pulling back like a slingshot, the preload, and after this is let go, they're responsible for pushing this blood, and this blood is so important because it's supposed to be getting oxygen to the rest of the body. So whether we're talking about the right side of the heart, we have deoxygenated blood going into the lungs to get oxygenation. Then it's going to the left side of the heart to distribute that oxygen on those red blood cells around the body. So guys, preload and afterload. Preload is that stretch. Afterload is the pressure being pushed out either against the lungs or the body whether we're talking about the right side or the left side of the heart. Well, folks, that's it. Two minutes of simplification. For an entire lecture series or to get your free trial to simplenursing.com, please click below inside the description box. And as always, to submit your random, wacky, crazy question of the week, please also click down below. There's a link there for you guys to submit your question. Each month, we randomly choose submissions. And maybe, just maybe, we'll choose you next. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching. And from everyone here at SimpleNursing.com, we thank you for learning and we thank you for viewing us on YouTube. Please do not forget to click down below in the description box for your free trial to all our videos. I will see you there, guys.